Yeah, it's really been a tough few months for local businesses, but even tougher times for those frontline workers who consistently risk their lives to save others. A local bakery owner is now recognizing their efforts in a really big way. Christina Laurie joins us with a story to make you smile this morning. Hi, Christina. I certainly hope it will. Hi. Chris and Leah, Michelle Clausen, owner of the namesake Middleton Bakery, started May with a huge goal in mind to donate and deliver 10,000 morning buns to emergency workers by the end of the month. She's expected to hit that goal later today. Michelle is calling the mission Honoring Community Heroes. She's been organizing drop-offs of Clausen's fresh break treats to a number of hospitals, clinics, police departments, fire stations, and other emergency services around the county. This afternoon, she's dropping off 1,500 morning buns for workers at UW Hospital, her second delivery of that size in just the past week. We caught up with Clausen's bakery team yesterday morning as they were making those morning buns to give out for free to healthcare employees at their Middleton location. Healthcare workers can also pick up a free loaf of bread right now. Michelle says that early on during this pandemic, she decided the best way to support her employees along with those in the community is by continuing to put in the hours to make products to distribute to people working on the front lines. We went from closing down completely to opening up to delivering in grocery stores and every single day is, is a challenge. And that's kind of fun in a way. Good attitude, Michelle says it's been humbling to hear stories from frontline workers that she's delivered to and she's thankful she can give back to people who are giving so much. It just kind of breaks us out of our shell and it does make you feel good. Um, everyone has their own reality with COVID-19. A reminder that all first responders and healthcare employees can pick up a free loaf of bread and free morning buns at Glossons through the end of the month. Coming up in the next half hour, I'll share three ways you can help make a difference in their lives and the lives of people living right here in your own community. Chris and Leah.